I, I'm going to tell you guys a story, a little bit of my uh, family history back in World War II. Hope you guys enjoy it. It was new, new German government. They were ready. There was still Hitler power, but there was new government. And they sent all Polish people back to Poland. The war was not, it was, wasn't even ended. When, but when we got it there, then, when we got there, you know, the Polish was empty. Let me tell you a story about an American dream It's about my family, so respect how much it may mean Close your eyes and just hear me Ukraine 1920s and my grandfather was born He lived rather pleasant by the fireplace, he stayed warm It wasn't until his father passed away from disease His mother took all the money, she took the keys That's when his life turned around and they fell to their knees Fast forward a little To World War II, the Nazis showed up To their house, everyone just got rounded up They weren't Jews, but they were faithful Christians They were snagged up, they were chained Sent to camp, sentenced to hard labor. They made him work in a coal mine, he was only 19. He would work every day in those mines, fine, he gets it. These lives were a theft, then all of a sudden he just looks to his left. There she was, a girl he's seen before, but today she looked stellar. He went up to her and just to tell her. I, I just, I just look, at, I say, girl, I'm thinking about you. Yeah. And you, and you know what she said? Yeah. You know what she say? She just didn't have like that. What? To get married? <laughs> she had me with that word, get married. <laughs> I was not ready to get married yet. I... Two weeks later, they got married. Soon the war was over, memories made a bend. Having two sons in Germany, his life began to mend. They were sponsored to America in hopes of a fresh start. They went to Ellis Island, and they knew in their heart. Life was springing, little birds were singing. Moving to America had a burden with it bringing. Bells on the church started ringing, dinging. Got a small place in Philly. After the war, the Polish and the Ukrainians straight up ran the city. They had three more kids, now three boys, two girls. Their life began to twirl. Now everyone's world began to swirl. He worked operating cranes. He supported a whole family without any financial aid. One day they went on vacation, and without any hesitation, they bought a house there. And that's how I came to be. Without World War II, I wouldn't even be here. This is the story. They already... They already was back to Poland, but during the, during the time there was bombard, bombardment alarm. Oh, Everybody so from the train come down, you know. And the, during the half an hour or so the, the bombardment stopped, everybody got back on the train into Poland. And that guy <coughs> worked with me, he know that guy, he says, uh, where, where, where do you live? I says, I live in a bomb shelter.